Oh, what is up there guys? This is Cole, welcome back to the episode of Tyranny. Oh my goodness, I haven't actually played even one time. Look at this. Since the last time that we were on, even. Usually I like to have a second campaign in these kind of games, just ticking over that I can play on my own time a little bit. Um, so just in case I don't feel like recording, you know, I can tinker with that. But hey, here we go. I'm going to have to relearn everything all over again because it's been like four or five days. And that's a long time to be away from a game like this. It's like putting down a book for a week. And you come back and you've got to read the previous chapter that you were on again just to kind of get back into the book. Where the fuck did we leave off from again? I believe that you're putting down a little contingent of soldiers who are trying to escape from the, the valley that we were sent to. Oh yeah, we had like the edict that we were going to read out and it was going to kill everybody in the fucking valley. If uh, the... What, what, what's it called? If like the insurgents weren't put down. Is that the right word? Insurgents? I think it is. Like rebels or whatever. Okay. I got it. I got it. Oh yeah, the formations and stuff. Yeah, I remember this. I think that we got a good formation because, you know, I'm a spellcaster. Oh, Lura. Okay. Um, what my buttons again? Thrust is that attack. This one was what? Blood Soak Stone. Oh, that's our combo ability. Alright, yeah, I remember. Frozen blah blah blah, Can't that's that. that one. Alright. Fuck, I zoomed really far out there. Alright, it's pretty cool. Let's go. The Archon demands all prisoners be given a chance to serve the chorus. Oh, but what she's saying, eh? They got us one kill, Drastus, there'll be no mercy. Alright, so we have to decide, right? <laughs> the prisoner is from the Tychus clan, and he's not just any Oathbreaker, he's one of their leaders. Aurora signals her men uh, by dragging her hand across her neck. No mercy for those who foment the rebellion. Find a post and string him up. If his wounds don't kill him, first starvation and infection will do the rest. I was about to say, give me a second to turn the mouse on so you guys can see, but it's right there, woo! Almost be given a chance to find absolution in, the serv in service to the Scarlet Chorus. Mage points a finger at the disfavored officer. Uh, oh yeah, and you know full well this has always been how way he has a chance to be a slave or soldier. Only then do we feed him to the pigs. I've got to side with one, don't I? I tire of this nonsense. You keep recruiting these Oathbreakers and you fail to inflict order and they defect. And we have to fight them all over again. I will not let another one of these south knobs come back to haunt us. Yeah, I gotta choose, don't I? I've been trying to side with the chorus. I think that is better. It's more it's more lenient. And it's just better for the cause. To go with the chorus. You get in favor of the chorus. If this is how you wish it, the prisoner will go to the Scarlet Chorus. But mark my words, treat these curves with kindness. Uh what the kindness has been what the fuck? Whatever, with kindness has been and continues to be a mistake. Oh yeah, I was reading that right. If it will calm your nerves, I assure you this one won't be put on the battlefield. The mage snaps her fingers loudly, gesturing for her gang to listen. Make sure the prisoner is taken straight to the voices of Narat. Ooh. Oh yeah, Narat is like, um... Fuck, I forgot what the hell he is again. What is he again? Known in his official capacity as the Archon of Secrets. Oh yeah, he's the Archon of Secrets under, um... Or something. Yeah, whatever. I I remember. Damn it. Aurora gives you a solemn nod until next time, Fate Binder. I know you have important business in the valley. No point in keeping you. She snaps to a salute. For the glory of Kairos. Yeah. Kairos, woo! Man, I'm gonna outdo Kairos one day. Do you know that? It's gonna happen. I just talk to these guys, like Fate Binder, pleasure to have you join us. Uh, you never really know if Oh yeah, no. If one of Tunon's officers is battle ready until the fight breaks out, yeah, one of Tunon's officers, aren't I? Uh, Tunon the Adjudicator is the Archon of Justice. Yeah, so we serve under the Archon of Justice, and the voices of Narat serve under the Archon of uh, Secrets. Yeah. All right. And thank Kairos for that. There's been too much, uh, too much talk of late, and not enough action. The Archon of War is planning his next move. What would you ha uh, would you have him hasten his plans for your impatience? The superior officer goes through a gap in the helm. Never, ma'am. A grave and ash protects. She holds a salute, uh, salute with a tightly clenched fist. I'm just eager to see the Vendrian guard buried under their own patched defenses. Alright. 
Yeah, why hasn't the siege been resolved? It's because the Scarlet Chorus scoff for the Dread General's plans and the Ant carrying their weight. Oh, yeah, they would say that though, wouldn't they? They should be using their great numbers to patrol and harass the enemy. If you ask me, I think they're intentionally going easy on the Oathbreakers. Why would they do that though? Come on, it's the Scarlet Chorus, for fuck's sake. Even if they listen to us, uh, are they even capable of following orders? The Scarlet Chorus doesn't have a chain of command, just a rabble of gang bosses cutting each other's throats for advancement. Sounds like the Sith pissing on the disfavored is, uh, is like a badge of honor. If you don't mind me saying so. <laughs> um, Alright. Graven Ash protects indeed. What have you survived? Yeah, what's been happening here? I just want to know more about what's been going down. In my early days, I broke from my phalanx and ran. Uh, ran at an enemy. Received a spear in my guts for my efforts. Took the better part of an afternoon for the Archon's protection to patch me up. Learned a valuable lesson too. When I was at Asia... I caught a hammer blow to the side of my head. All I remember is a ringing sound and, a fe uh, and feeling my skull shatter from jawline to ear to top. I woke up hours later. The medic says there's a piece of my a piece of helmet lodged in my brain. She draws herself up. My badge, my reminder. God damn! We are all the great general. He gives us the strength to fight where others would flee and stand where others would fall. What a pile of dung! Said Verse. They're right about one thing, the disfavored have taken too many blows to the head. <laughs> she scoffs and crosses her arms. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep talking to these soldiers. Suit yourself. Actually, no, I don't. Okay, let's just leave. What's over here? This guy looks like a little, little storefront or something. Cosma. Of the Scarlet Chorus. Fit binder, what an honor to have one of Tunon's court visit our humble holdfast. Need supplies? Bursting with energy, the merchant slams her palm down on the top of a crate. If so, you've come to the right place. Oh, well, not. oh it's Cosmo. It's a, it's a female. I've been using, like, well, I can't really put on a woman's voice. If you had a fucking deep, my voice is goddamn. Give me a break, YouTube. <laughs> so, what will it be today? She spreads out a wol uh, welcoming arm over her wares. Well, let's see what you have. Bronze great sword, leather buckler. How does blocking work in this? Oh, it gives parry chance, bit of dodge chance, bit of endurance. Uh, but I'm using staffs in my character, so it's fine. I don't need any of that shit, I guess. Uh, I'm missing accessories. I can go ahead and equip one, right? I just have like no cash. I have no bronze rings to buy anything with. God damn it! All right, well that was lovely. Uh, let me just. Go ahead and real quick use one of these accessories that I got. Get that mushroom on there. Don't know what the fuck it's for, but yeah, I thought I got some kind of. Oh yeah, it was this the quick finger bangles? Yeah, a little bit of haste there. I don't know what the fuck haste does in the game. But let's go. All right, so where do I go now? Is there anywhere in particular that I go? Anywhere in particular. Anything that I can loot? Ooh, I can loot this. What's in here? A little bit of sky cap. Give me that. Okay, alright. Uh, apparently we missed some loot over here as well. Or we missed something around here. Also, the stars are what? Characters that I need to speak to or something? Aurora, Cosmo. Okay. Cool. It gives us some little pointers. Oh, can I get to this? What is that? Can I even get there? Do I have to go all the way out? Oh, god damn it. Oh my god, man. Look at these people all strung up and shit. It's crazy. Kyra should not have accepted Vendrian's surrender. What's this guy gonna say? Hey, Kairos. Well, aren't you fucking jolly? Can I go this way? Oh my god, secret whiz! Can't See. do that. No, no. I can. Oh, Lyra, damn it. Alright. Oh. Oh, I can climb up. Oh, but I can't because I don't have the athletics. Nay. Oh, man. I gotta work out. Okay. Let's just go. Let's get the hell out of here. Did I explore everything up here? Yeah, that's the way I came, isn't it? I'm just clicking around on the mini-map there. Sorry if that's a bit jarring. 
Let's go, man. The fucking adjudicator's here. Let's, let's, let's get out of here, man. Where are we now? Oh, okay. We're at the Edgering Ruins. Let's go to the Disfavor Camp. It will take you three hours to complete your journey. Three hours. That's nothing, man. Get me there. Send me. Different enemies are suscept uh, susceptible to different types of damage. Identifying their weaknesses will give you an edge in battle. Oh, we straight up just here. Okay. Where does this take us to then? Oh, it's just like another exit. Oh, shit. Okay, what's up? Take what you can carry, but leave your cart, otherwise we seize you and your wares. <laughs> this is robbery. Yeah, shut the hell up. Hail hey, Finder, the disfavored scout nods as you approach. Camps up on our head. Don't mind us, just clearing out the rabble. <laughs> I still don't understand what I've done to offend. I respect that these are now disfavored lands, and I'm happy to give the Legion a proper fucking toll. But she's going on about trading rights. What nonsense is that? I'm not allowed to trade one thing for another. It's not like I'm selling weapons to angry peasants or anything of the sort. Um, mm, you're on disfavored land. These warriors have every right to kill you. What would Lura say? What would the goddess of fucking death say? Your lord regulates all trade. I don't like to fucking kneel to a higher power, you know what I'm saying? If it's up to me and I can choose my path in this game, I'm gonna fucking kill everyone, man. Tune on, Kairos, all of them. I'm gonna be the new fucking Kairos, you know what I mean? Um... These warriors have a right to kill you. Should be more thankful they're even listening to you to speak. Uh, Jesus Christ! Looking and panicking, man. But I'm only here to peddle my wares. I mean no harm. The merchant takes a step back, his eyes scanning the soldiers for any signs of movement. <laughs> if you think I'm a threat to the disfavored camp, then you have seriously overestimated me. Please, how do I make this right? From the sound of it, I feel like I'm about to be robbed. You are about to be robbed. You're not the only one. I'm being robbed of my patience as we speak, said Verse. I don't like Vesh. She seems like a bit of a dick, to be honest. Uh, we should move on, Fatebinder. Petty disputes are beneath us both. Yeah, but beneath me. You're, you're, you're just a peasant as well, though. <laughs> Get like a total superiority complex already, dude. We're only fucking 15 minutes into the damn episode. The Crescent Runner. Robbed. No, you fool. You're being granted life after trespassing on our lands. All for the simple price of what's in your cart. Not our fault if you don't have your permits in order. I don't write the rules, I just ruthlessly enforce them. They always have such something so eloquent to say. If it was like northeast of England, shut up, leave your cat, or I'm just gonna kill you. Simple as that, innit? It'd be like so, you know, trampy. <laughs> Please, the merchant led just towards you, eyes wide with desperation. Can you do something? Um, you best man start making a very strong argument as to why I should help you. This is none of my concern. Carry on. Let me see your trade permits. If he has the fucking trade permits, then fair's fair. Let me see the trade permits. He hasn't got one. Therein lies the problem. A trade permit? Well, well, how I, how was I? I mean, to whom would I speak for for such a thing? Not us, and not our problem. Maybe march your butt to bastard city and plead your case before Tunon. But we lighten your burden and relieve you of your wares first. That should make the long trek a bit more bearable. <laughs> Anything to be argued before Tunon may be argued before me. Oh yeah, I like that, see? I, I come before Tunon, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. You've lost favor with the disfavored. <laughs> What's there to discuss? We should kill this mongrel and... The warrior pauses, is placing a hand in front of her mouth. If the fate binder wishes to weigh in on the matter, courtesy demands we listen. The soldier clears her throat. <clears> throat> ah, looking at you expectantly. This is a disfavored matter, but I know the agents of the court do so love to throw their judgments around. Damn fucking right, I do. Well, you can rob me now and have my supplies today. The merchant grabs a flask from his cart. Or you can leave me alive and have fermented honey all year long. I know a few family recipes for painkillers and healing droughts. Certainly any army will need those. He uncocks a small ceramic vial and the aroma of cloves and lanolin assaults your nose. <laughs> Ooh, what can I do? What can I do? Alright, I can't do the hunter one. I can't do the subterfuge one. Lawbreaker, I don't have the trait for lawbreaker yet, apparently. 
Um, okay. These are essential goods for the war effort. We should leave the supplier intact. Or we can use law. What a coincidence. Your family recipe for wound paste smells just like the Scarlet Fury's own concoction. Where did you steal this? Oh, shit! You see what I'm saying? That's why it's sick meant to go into law. Our character's smart as fuck. Nothing gets past her, man. She's gonna out this motherfucker. I don't... The mesh tenses up, his face flushing red. I don't know what you're getting at. Oh, I think you do. <laughs> to the disfavored, this teasman needs a little roughening up. You're right, killer's liar, and share the proceeds with the Legion. Boom! No, please, I can explain. Get him, boys. How do you know the teasman is lying? Oh, wait, wait, wait. How do you know the uh, teasman is lying? His lips are moving. The soldier nods to her comrades with a quick flash of iron. The merchant is gooded. He's gonna get wrecked. Oh, clean kill. Cleaner than he deserved, anyway. I would have done a better job of it, but I don't begrudge you carrying out a favor with the ironclads. Sweet. He's not. He's still not dead yet, man. Come on, I want to see the death animation. <laughs> Let's pick through what's useful if you find anything of merit. Blah, 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 blah. Every time we show the locals a drama civility, they spit in our good nature. Never let us fa uh, fall for their treachery again. Get him! <laughs> yeah! Slain! <laughs> I'm enjoying this evil malarkey a little bit too much. But you know what? I'm getting in character, alright? It's not me, it's my character, goddammit. What the hell? Slow down a moment. I knew we were both eager to watch the Archons bicker over tactics like a pair of magpies, but I need to ask you something first. <sighs> I don't know if I have time for your shit verse. I don't like you that much, really. Fine. The voices of Narad told me that you came as a mediator. Considering the source, well, I can't help but feel like I'm only hearing half of the story. Damn right. So let's have it out. What's so special about you? Oh, hey! You fucking don't ask me the questions, Vess. I'm the goddamn adjudicator, right? Adjudicator? I don't know if that's my title right now, but um, I'm here to deliver an edict from Kairos. No, law. I'm actually oh, nice. We can lie because we have such good law skills. I'm actually tallying the expense of the siege. Hmm. I have nothing to tell you. Why is this suspicious? What else has the voices of Nerat told you? <laughs> I'm actually tallying the expense of the siege. Is that all? I can understand why Tunon would worry himself over resources, but we have the riches of the Northern Empire backing this conquest. Not to mention the plunder of the tears. If you say that's the case, I'll go along with it. Vers frowns to herself, but doesn't press the matter. <laughs> uh, what else has the voice of Nerat told you? Uh, enough of this. I must. <laughs> Are you getting, you getting fear with Vers? Oh god damn, man. You're really, like, scared. She's like, she's fucking frightened of me now. What the hell? Hey, don't let me hold you back. I'm sure whatever you're doing here is important enough that you don't need me stepping in your path. The war tent is just past the center of the camp. One last thing. Be careful around these disfavored types. They take their work seriously. Most have suffered too many blows to the head. Alright. I want to look around outside here first. You never know. There's always, like, hebs and shit to pick in games like this. Um, can I go up this way? Scout the perimeter first, just a little. Is that a grave? A humble grave lies before you. A battered sword has been used as a marker. The initial B. A modest grave for the deeply. Archon's son, Brennix. We don't bother with funeral rites in the chorus. No point in thanking conscripts for their duty. Huh. Brennix. The Archon's son, eh? Oh, he's the Archon of War, isn't he? Um, the guy in this camp. Okay. A little bit of lore, so his son's recently died. We gotta bear that in mind. And be savage as fuck. And just tread all over those precious memories when we go in there. Um, oh, I can just speak with verse like this. Oh, cool! Okay, so sometimes the characters have something to say and I can choose to address it or not. Couldn't help but notice how you are eyeballing the disfavored symbol littered around the camp. Um... Yeah, I'm done discussing this. I don't blame you. Compared to the Scala Chorus, the Disfavor is about as interesting as hard labor. And hard labor is not interesting. What do we have here? Step closer and present yourself. Let me fucking click you then! There we go. I'm not even facing him, man. That's how much I disrespect him. The guard holds up a warning hand. Go no farther. You approach the Disfavored ground. State your business. 
I'm Luro, Fatebinder of Tunon. I bring words from Kairos, words for your commanders. He is. I'm Tunon's Fatebinder. Stand aside. I'm expected. Ooh. Yeah, I like that. This is like more fucking bitchy, isn't it? Let's go. Cool. You gain the wrath of the disfavored. Yeah! Everyone's just gonna hate and feel you. <laughs> uh, ah, so you're the fire starter. Really? Kyrosanation Edict of Fire. Oh, so they, they know that I have the Edict? Son of a bitch. I thought that was like top secret. Oh, no, because I told one of the uh, disfavored, right? So maybe word's gotten around. Um, Sevius and the company is returning from the burning library are telling some harrow harrowing stories about Kairos' Edict of Fire. I think myself brave, but I'm happy to have been far away from it all. This has been a terrifying honor to be the messenger of such righteous force. Go on in. The soldier gestures towards the gate. The Archons are expecting you. You'll find them on the war tent, center of the camp. The Archons, eh? Let's go. What's going on here, then? Pentibor. Hail to you, guardian of the law. The man dressed in merchant finery greets you with a smile. If you have a few... What the hell? Oh. If you have a few excess rings weighing you down, best unburden yourself before battle. Fuck you, man. Uh... Oh shit. So depending on what my heritage is, because my heritage on Lura is a noble Skyron, I get extra dialogue options? That's so fucking cool. Um, Alright, yeah. My lord father is familiar with the trade. Might I inspect your stock? He hesitates and corrects, uh, corrects the welcoming style. Uh, of course, by all means. I have nothing to hide. Yes, he does. He makes a show of removing a crystal and showing off his words with an open palm. I can try and steal something? God damn. Not stealing is beneath me. His supplies are all perfectly ordinary. You see nothing out of the place or unauthorized. by his mercantile license. Hmm. Smells like petal grass in here. Have you been selling something you shouldn't? Ooh. Yeah. That's crafty. His eyes go wide. Pedal grass? But this is absurd. I never touch the stuff. I... He cuts off speech and frowns. Oh, I recognize this for what it is. Though I admit I assume things are more orderly in the military. He sighs. <laughs> you won't find any contraband here. Of that I can assure you. I've traveled in the company of the vaunted Iron Legion. For enough of this conflict that my honesty can be vouchsafed and defended. Well, there you go. <laughs> Law 35. Oh my god, it's getting high, dude. Uh, it can take a uh, quite a while to schedule a trial. Pity if you had to wait outside the rest of this war in a cell. Oh my god, just shaking him down like crazy. Yeah! Holy shit, 481 rings? We are rich! Yes, pity indeed. Frowning, he counts out a generous sum of rings and passes them to you without hesitation. There you go. The cost of doing business. Alright, now let me see your wares. Let's see if we can find something you might like. Alright, how many rings have we got? I thought we had like a billion rings. Oh, so the bronze rings constitute like a hundred? Yeah? Am I right? Yeah, I'm correct. So it's just like wow gold, I'm assuming. Iron rings are like the most uh, costly or something. Which is a little bit jarring, a little bit confusing, but... Okay, um... Wow, man, it's fucking expensive shit, then. Look at how expensive cheese is. Uh, mead, sigil of frost. Yeah, I already, I already know this sigil. Camping supplies. Hmm. Bit of anti-bleed, maybe? Should we just... You, know, you never know. Um, take a couple of those. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, a little sparring circle here or something. You can't make out the ironclad soldier's expression under his twisted helmet. He merely stares at you. Like a freak of nature. Uh, what's over here then? Can I loot any of these crates? What's, what's, what's this? Christian runner. Thank you, Fade Binder. Oh yeah, she's the one who I let, I let the murder that guy. Yeah, they like me. Okay. It had to be done. It's kind of like a weaponsmith or something. Um, Isotanis. Okay, Isotanis. Curses, curses the errors. 
What the fuck? Aesotinus curses the air as a blade of thin iron breaks in half beneath his hammer. Damn it. Repairing weapons with this uh, with scrap isn't exactly why he got into this craft, but our supplies are spent. He wipes the sweat from his brow and gets a better look at you. Why not forge bronze? Bronze will do in a pinch, don't get me wrong. It can take a beating, it can get bent back into shape, unlike the stubborn iron we have here. <laughs> I've had way too much fun doing these voices, dude. It's growing on me. He glances at a pile of, uh, of his work with dread. And we always have plenty of tin and copper lying around, so supplies aren't the problem. It's a rare smith who can churn out a military-grade bronze consistently. More often than not, it comes out soft. Look around the uh, look. Oh, look around the camp. We're garbing the legion head to toe in iron because it's cheaper and easier to produce for the masses. Couldn't do that with bronze. They call it as vave the iron legion for a reason. The stra uh, strategy and skill might be a fucking backbone. My voice is down the head, but our claws are made of iron. The good stuff that comes out from the smiths. Oh, smiths in uh, Lefty's Crossing. Yeah. Okay, you mentioned iron shortage, I'm afraid so, blah 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 blah. Uh, the last shipment sent down at the Mantani went missing near Echo Coal Crossing. Okay, Echo Coal Crossing, remember that! And I'm afraid we won't be seeing any more now that the valley is sealed. Oh, fuck, the valley sealed, mate, no need to remember that. <laughs> Forge bound iron is Junon's responsibility. Why is this the first time I'm hearing of it? Keep your voice down. Isotanus uh, flinches and lowers his own. Graven Ash doesn't want to cause panic, I'll pass any information to the Vendring Guard. Best case scenario, the iron tumble off a boat and is rusting on a riverbed. Worst case, it ends up in enemy hands. If I find myself an echo call... Did I say echo hall? Echo call? I suppose I can keep an eye out. <laughs> what an embarrassing display of confidence. Count me out. <laughs> see, I've got to go with what my fucking character would actually say, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I will keep an eye out, but I gotta say this for the time being. He shrugs and dismisses you with a quick wave. I mean, you're a wave wave binder. I was under the impression you had come to help us. Maybe I was wrong. <laughs> oh god. It's just too fun being being a cowbag man from time to time. Uh, who's over here? Oh, Pentiball's over here. Ooh, we can look at this. The cat is bursting with fresh food and useful goods. Okay. Over here, then. What about over here? What are these actually? Ooh. It's all in the reflexes. Oh, I can just take it. Doesn't take much subterfuge to unlock that, does it? What does it do? Defense against paralysis, burning, frozen attacks. All right, elemental barrier. I see. Um, plus ten armor. All right. Pretty neat. Let me talk to you. Bitter quip. Glory to the voices of Narat. Protecting his salutation, uh, salutation, uh, projecting rather his salutation for all to hear. The grinning blood chanter wraps his staff against the ground as you approach. Fate by Nalura, I presume. The smile quickly retreats, giving way to a sour skull. I am bitter quip. I am here as the emissary of the Scarlet Chorus. Sick. Bitter quip looks at you impatiently. Um. All right. The chorus is the future of the tears. I feel only derision and pity for those who fear our inevitable ascension. It equip looks at you with a raised eyebrow. What in particular would you like to know? Um. Yeah, I like to know a bit more about the voices of Narat. Actually, like the Archon of Secrets. Is he like a spy master or something? He's supreme commander of pub uh commander and public servant. He who sets us free but directs all. Really. Bitter Quip smiles as he talks, his face uh, turning flush. Voices of Narat is the epitome of what each of us can be. A magician without equal, and the leader of uncountable numbers. Hmm. Equal parts, genius, and madman. Rumors abound that he can steal the minds of others. Oh yeah, I remember reading this. Um, okay. Bitter Quip nods as you depart. What about you then? I can't wait to get out of this fucking camp. Sure. Perfect. Oh, do I want to go up there just yet? Marcus and Lucia. What's this? A meager portion of game. Simmers in the large copper pot. Oh, the archons want you inside, they bind up. Okay, well, yeah, I've got to go and talk to the NPCs first. I'm trying to talk to everyone who I can here. Lucia, what's up? I'm Lucia. This is Marcus. Oh, 
I'm Lucia. This is Marcus. That was a bit too much for that fucking male voice, you know? <laughs> the disfavored soldier. Soldiers point to the armored man next. The disfavored soldiers points to the armored man next to her. Hmm. I don't know if that makes sense, really. And you must be the Fate Binder. As one of two nuns' Fate Binders, you are a traveling deputy of law, authorized to be judge, jury, and executioner in two absence. You have the authority to, uh, authority over civilians and soldiers alike. The two may freely destroy you should you misuse your power. Scarlet Chorus and disfavored soldiers are required to abide by your judgment. All right. From under the from under the helm uh, helmet, you hear an audible scoff. We've been assigned to babies. The fuck. Okay, I'm Lucia. This is Marcus. His favorite soldier points to the armored man next to him. Yeah, I don't know. Signed here, hospitality. Marcus quickly um, interjects. While well, you remain on disfavored ground, if you need a place to rest, we can make the necessary preparations. What can we do for you? Pit fighter, soldier, hunter. Damn. Okay. Finally, some fun to break up the monotony of the siege. A little bit of training? Oh, I see. So you just pay cash to get skill points? Pretty cool. I don't know if this is worth doing. I guess thorn weapons isn't worth doing. Can I trade here as well? Uh, a bit of parry, 100 weapons, 200 weapons. Nah, I'll leave it for now. I don't want to waste cash on stuff that I can just do easily. Okay. You see that? No. Nope. What did you do? I didn't. I didn't see it. Hidden objects. <gasps> so one of these crates appear or something? You've discovered a hidden object. Many areas of trackers are hidden traps or chests. When discovered, these objects will uh, highlight be highlighted for all your party to see. <gasps> I see it over there! Alright, how do I... I fucking can't see it because I'm super leaned into the screen because there's so much reading. Um, enable scouting more by pressing... Yeah, equals... Moving points. cautiously. Alright. Oh, bit of cheese. Lovely. I'll snaggle down on that later on today. Hidden object. Okay, bloodstone. Alright, all right. topaz, I guess. Alright. Let's get ourselves in here, dude. Let's go. High low skill is required to make uh, to create the most powerful spell combinations. Good to know. Okay. Yesterday you chided me for wishing to wait, now you suggest an even longer delay. Graven Ash, so this is the leader of the Perhaps the voices in your skull are to come to a consensus. Blah, 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 blah. Good advice is flexible, changing with the moment. Besides, now you're now we're agreeing. Blah 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 blah. Blood. It's too quick to fucking keep up with. But these are the leaders of each of the There's sides, four right? There's reports of avalanches <gasps> in the mountains now. The tearsmen can barely count past nine. They have neither the capacity nor the cause to close off the mountain passes. Either way, that leaves the second and fourth cohort trapped outside the valley. Here. I don't understand. The tears the teasmen can barely count past nine. They have neither the capacity nor the calls to calls off the mountain passes. Okay. Um the yeah, Wall Palace is definitely going to punctuate his words. A large and imposing man to begin with. His profile is made larger still by a hulking suit of armor that hums with mystic energy. Grave and ash. Or it's the work of your perfidious earth shakers. Only a fool would not suspect a traitorous archon of poisoning the mind of his students with sedition. We would have killed the Earthshaker's guild for their master's treachery. But I'm sure you have some perfectly valid reason for allowing them to live as your pawns. Oh, shit. So the voices of Narat is just a guy. I thought that Narat was a guy, and the voices of Narat <laughs> were like his denizens or some shit like that. But, alright. Uh, the Icon of Secrets passes a scepter between his hands as he speaks, twirling the rod in hypnotic circles. The emerald luminescence seeps from the seams of the Icon's ragged red robes. The glow is uh, most noticeable where his neck ought to be. His mask seems to float and spin, never pivoting or bending naturally. Hey, watch yourself. 
When these two get going, you don't want to get between them. Hey, if someone's gonna get between them, it's me. I don't give a damn. Oh, so those two clowns are arguing over, like, what fucking sealed the, um... Valley off, right? It was goddamn Kairos, damn it. Fuck it. You've gained favor with... Oh, I've gained favor with both. Oh, no, just with the disfavored and with Graven Ash. Governor Lura, longer we've been... Uh, longer we have been honored by your iron. Now we're honored by your presence. I must apologize for my lords. Tempers run high of late. Now to the Archons. Apologies for the sudden entrance. I traveled long to be here. Welcome, Firestarter. We have been eagerly anticipating your arrival. Damn. Perchance you bring another of Kairos's edicts to savage the enemy? Yeah, something like that, Grivenesh. We were worried you'd never make it. So glad that Drastus's demise didn't cause further delay. Poor Drastus. He got wrecked. That's all our fault. The Arcano Secret turns his attention to you. The frozen rictus fashioned into his bronze mask and greets you with a permanent smile. I knew about Drastus then, just came in from Edgering Ruin. Um, <laughs> I come bearing an edict of Kairos. Once again, you bring us support in a time of need. Yeah. We fondly remember your service to the Chorus in the taking of the Bastard City. We knew back then you were destined for great things. But we had not anticipated you would be twice honored with the task of proclamation. So, do not keep us waiting. What is the Overlord's will? Oh, well, you're not gonna like it. Um, Alright, the Overlord's loyal servants must hold Ascension. Ascension hold by Kairos, the Day of Swords, or all in the valley shall perish. 26th day of every month is the Day of Swords. Kairos' day is a day of holiday and restful within the Overlord's Empire. Each, uh, each Kairos' day is the last day of its span, as referred to by the span's name. Alright. It seems you need some encouragement to work together. Kairos' edict will end the lives of everyone in this valley unless Ascension Hall is claimed. That's a little bit more savage. In honor of your incompetence and disarray, the edict will execute every living thing in this valley unless Ascension Hall is taken by Kairos' Day of Swords. I love that, man. I always just love the fucking most evil one. In honor of your incompetence and disarray, the edict will execute every living thing. It's fucking sick. Boom. Graven Ash doesn't like me, eh? Hey, man, the voice of Narat likes it. The earth sways with each word you utter, the air thickening with warmth as you pronounce the terrestrially phrased commandment. It's every syllable drafted by the hand of Kairos. With the edict proclaimed, your p Wait, what? With the edict proclaimed, your pulse quickens, and the muscles in your legs, worn from a long trip down the mountains, feel renewed. Uh, the tired limbs now buoyant with vigor. <laughs> Oh shit! The Overlord means there to it propel is. us into action. No doubt the avalanches in the mountains are part of this ultimatum. Yep. We must conquer the Oathbreakers or die in failure. There is no room for error, and no other way out of this valley alive. That's we'll it. We need to advance across the Matani. We lose everything if we stand still, and we move to back up Plan Green. The Earthshakers didn't make it over the mountain in time. So we do this the hard way, over the walls, instead of through. Yeah, Helm's Deep style. So you found your backbone at last! <laughs> oh, we were worried past humiliations would make you soft, timid. That was a record for you, right? The Baker's Dozen lost in one sortie. If you had waited for the chorus reinforcements, maybe we'd have eyes and ears on the matter. Goddamn voice of Narat. Alright. Bicker all you wish it is wasting valuable time. You two daft, it's your indecision. Bickering that necessitated this edict. Learn to work together all all doomed. <laughs> uh, they call you the icon of secrets, but you certainly don't seem to know <laughs> don't seem to know anything remotely useful. <laughs> he is a little bit annoying, let's savage him a little bit. I second the fate by Thought you had the memories of one of those oathbreakers rattling about that bronze gourd of yours. Would Kairos's mighty spy master please enlighten this gathering of allies with some scrap of strategic insight? Let's go. I'm kind of with Grave and Ash on this one. 
<laughs> the Icon of Secrets turns his head to the side until the face of his mask is turned, is turned around in a new, or oh, a new facet of the mask presents itself facing forward. Uh, when next the Icon speaks, the trembling voice of a younger man can be heard. Our river was to be the bulwark, but with the Tidecasters slain, what hope remains? It's so cold in here. Help me. Please. What is that? The use of the term Our River uh, suggests this is the voice of the late Matani Genev, ranking member of the Vendrian Guard. The wealthy house of Matani owned much of the realm of Apex before the coming of Kairos, and the major river in the valley bears the Matani name. Oh, is he speaking in somebody else's voice? It's almost like he's got the soul of one of these Vendrian guys inside of him, and he's, you know, pooling information from this guy. Oh man, and now he's got like his soul trapped in, help me please, you know? Oh my god. Our sources tell us the Oathbreakers had some sort of magical trick in store. But this knowledge is tinged with fear, trepidation. If we make a move for the Matani, we suspect the Oathbreakers will mount a counterattack that is equal parts valiant and futile. Alright. That, that voice who was holds Matani it. Yanev, former noble of Apex and one of the leaders of the Vendrian Guard. Back when they were half respectable enemies that knew how to lose with dignity. When the Guard first surrendered, Yanev presented himself to us. What he knew, we now know. Damn. Alright, I see. Alright. Um. End of talking, there's work to be done. Oh, Iron Marshal Erinos. Oh man, his arm looks fucking sick. My lord, Barak. Who the fuck is Barak? Though you know him only by name, Barak is a commander of the Stone Shields and well regarded dis uh, by the disfavored High Command. All right, Barak and his hand have been drilled uh, on the Echo Echo Call assault plan. The Crescent Runners should be briefing him as we speak uh, regarding the latest enemy movements along the river. I will dispatch him at once. All right. The fifth eye, and I will ensure the chorus stands ready to march. If the disfavored can take the river, the chorus has the manpower to secure the outer ring of the valley. Our right. soldiers clamor for battle, and at last we shall have it. Verse, we command you to continue guarding the Fate Binder. Tunan's chosen is our honored guest, and must be shown our finest oh. hospitality. We're gonna keep Verse with me. I won't let you down, boss. She'll get through the campaign in one piece, as long as she doesn't do anything too stupid. Yeah, I'm just gonna execute your ass, Vers, once we're done with this. Yeah, <laughs> the Archon twirls his scepter one last time, then taps the fifth eye on the shoulder, and the two depart. Alright. Voices of Nerat, eh? Finally. The fool and his puppet are gone. Perhaps now I can hear myself think. Rarely do I question Kairos' judgment. But I will never understand why the voices of Narat is given such authority. I shudder to think what will become of us all should Tunan favor him in the end. Well, though the edict threatens the Scarlet Chorus just as it threatens us, I cannot shake the feeling that our allies will work against us. Why would the Scarlet Chorus work against you? If anything, the Scarlet Chorus is going to be more cowardly. Now, if you'll leave me be, I have a battle to plan. I imagine duty requires you speak with the chorus further, but if I can convince you to lend a hand, most of my legion is trapped beyond the mountains, so I'm in need of an added sword or two. If you wish to be counted amongst right. the glorious, speak with the Iron Marshal. She will direct the order of battle until we are ready for the final push into the Citadel. The Iron Marshal, eh? Oh, you're the Iron Marshal. I, oh, I'm short a few scouts, short a few soldiers, short a few everything. I'm sure my brethren will be grateful for the assistance of a skilled out, uh, outsider. I'll be honored to help in what the Scala Chorus. How will they be helping? Hmm. I ask myself that question often. While we take the river crossing, the Scarlet Chorus I'll help. should I just be don't using their sizable presence to remove the Oathbreaker patrols lurking in the outer valley. Alright. 
Uh, the other Briggs have maintained a sizable force inside the Citadel. We need the Chorus's manpower to scour the region, otherwise the other Briggs will attack at our heels once we uh, cross the Matani. So the Matani River is what we need to get over first, then we get the Citadel, right? Okay. I'll be at the training grounds, <laughs> ready the soldiers. Find me there when you are ready. Alright. She pauses, clearing her throat. And though I am at loath to mention it, the chorus can likely use your assistance. They certainly won't secure the outer valley on their own. Fifth Eye will be somewhere in the rats uh, in that rat's nest they call a camp due east. Seek him out if you must. Alright, man. I shall do that once I check to see if there's anything I can loot. In this room. Oh, would you look at that? What's this? Frayed pebble cloth. Alright. Sure. Awesome. Let me save. Let me save. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this episode, guys. And for now, I'm gonna catch all you guys in the next one. Jaram. Love it if all three of my generals could survive this battle. That would be fucking splendid, you know? We have so many men left alive, I can't imagine that we can lose this at this point, but they still have another large army that might not